That's okay. Cool. Uh, 609, find duplicate file in system. Uh, given a list of directory info, including directory path, and including directory path and all the files of the contents in this directory, uh, you need to find out all the groups of duplicate files in the file system in terms of the paths. A group of duplicate, fi duplicate files consists of at least two files that contain exactly the same content. A single directory info string in the input list has the file format. Uh, just some format. Boo, 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 boo. Okay. Uh, it means that there are n files doo, 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 in directory. Man, what the? Sorry. There's a lot of reading. Um, it's just specifying the input, so maybe I don't need to explain or uh, read it that much. But yeah, the output is a list of direct. A uh, list of group of duplicate file paths. For each group, it contains all the file paths of the file that have the same content. And a file path is a string that's a following format. Boo, boo, boo. Okay. Uh, so okay. So this is the file. This is the directory. So what I'm gathering is that yeah, this is the directory. This is the file name, and this is the file content. Okay. And then you just basically. Uh, 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 group them together. Uh, contain to have the same content. Okay, I mean, yeah, you just group them together. I think that's a. Uh, do I have to sort it? Wow, there's a lot of notes. There's a lot of reading on this one. But I would say, uh, I actually had to do this recently uh, on like writing scripts rather. So like it's, I guess, more real life. Uh, 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 like it seems more real life because I had to do it because I was backing up photos all over the place and. Well, I had duplicate photos, so uh, uh, so I was trying to remove duplicate, fo duplicate photos on my hard drive. Uh, so I actually did something like that, except for there are a lot of fun optimizations you can make, like hashing file blocks and headers and stuff like this, which I guess is what the follow-up are talking about. Uh, and then, yeah, okay. But anyway, no orders required for final output. Okay, okay, okay. Good, 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 good. Okay, cool. I mean, I think it's just a lot of this is just parsing in the hash table. I don't think there's anything that tricky. So maybe, whoa, oh, but there's a lot of downloads. So maybe I'm wrong. Let me not speak too quickly. But that's my approach right now is that, uh, um, yeah, I mean, you hash on the file content. Uh, and at least in this case, and I mean, not in real life because the file content could be huge. Uh, but in this case, the f there could be twenty thousand file, and the, f the file content is fifty characters. So, like, so that's what I'm hashing on, uh, and then just, I mean, that's it. I mean, I don't think there's anything weird about it. You just hash on the file, and then make sure you parse things correctly, and then print them out in a cool way. Um, cool. Okay, uh, and it'll be good practice for my uh, for my learning Python's. Um, because now I have to do a split. Uh, have to split uh, there's a thing where I could do like limit equals to like one or two or something like that, right? I'm going real quick. Because I just want to get the first chunk and then the second chunk. Okay, so I actually want one, but. Is this core limit? Oh, max split is the thing. Okay. Um, what do I call it? Okay. I'll just go to this for now. And then you have the directory is equal to this. And then the rest is equal to this one. And then for file in. Oh, I guess that's a keyword so that's to say f in west dot split so now these are the files um stop parsing uh this is the what you might call it s printf or the other one s scan f huh. maybe i should have done nc then <laughs> but uh but i'm learning i guess i could also get one of that kicks is this type of like a scan of type thing in python uh, no, okay, fine. Like S scan F. Scan F would be great. 
Nope, low okay, cache file. Uh, okay, so let's say that's for each file, and then um, mm -hmm. name content is good. Just put on this. So I know that the content will have a trailing uh, white parentheses. Does my strip? Does my strip have a man? I feel like I'm looking at it. I don't don't know all the string things in. Uh, I don't know all the string things in Python, unfortunately. But uh, okay, oh, I don't have a hash table, so okay, content hash. Okay. Actually, we use a default fix, so I am learning slowly but eventually. Um, content dot append. Uh, we want the directory plus the thing uh, plus the name. Okay. Uh, okay, so now log in content hash dot keys um pen. Uh, oh. I guess I could have just done the values actually, I don't really need the key, but okay. That's roughly right. I might have some formatting errors. Oh. Hmm. Okay, cool. Uh, did I get any more sample input? Mm, let me try an empty content file, actually, and see if that crashes anything. Um, thanks. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Oh, so, okay, cool. So I did catch a bug, which is great. Uh, which is that, well, at least I don't f crash, but also I have to make sure that this is, um, this length is greater than one. As usual, I'm just going to empty away. I never know if, uh, I guess. Yeah, okay, I guess you have at least one file, but I just want it again. Okay, let's YOLO this. Cool, wow. I mean, am I doing easier problems today or something? Or maybe I'm just a little luckier. Maybe I just got enough sleep. <laughs> no, but uh, okay. I mean, yeah, did pretty average story of my life, but um. Yeah, I mean, I think for this problem, uh, this is some weird parsing around, uh, but but you know, people always complain about algorithm problems being like this these abstractions, and this is probably as uh, kind of realistic as it gets, especially with the follow up questions. Um, and that, like I said, I actually did this recently to kind of scan my hard drive because I could both didn't want to pay for an tool but I actually did use some free tools that were terrible so I just kind of wrote my own own kind of hash matches and, and stuff like this uh, so this is as relevant as it gets and I think the follow-up questions are actually pretty reasonable in terms of um, uh, yeah oh I forgot to link this problem oops sorry friends uh, oh yeah that's right good point uh, but yeah but it was, uh, <laughs> but yeah, definitely. Um, I feel like I've definitely gotten these kind of follow up questions before in an interview. So uh, I mean, not on this particular one, but yeah. But I think this is a fun one to do. So definitely play around with it. Um, and there's not that much complexity as well. I mean, it's just a hash table lookup, right? And, and just some parsing. So uh, so yeah. 
But uh, oh yeah, dad values. I always forget dad values. That was the one that I was thinking about. Uh, I mean, dad values is definitely for this one, but and also for comprehension. But I do have funny stories about full comprehension, though, because I, the last, at one of my, my previous jobs, I, uh, I kind of abused it way too much, and people complained about it a little bit because I, I mean, it's not that bad, I'm not complain, complain, but people like joking and be like, "Hey, this is getting too intense." Uh, mostly because I was just almost got got to, like I when I first discovered full comprehension, I was just like uh, getting into a point where I was almost playing golf with them. I'm like, oh, everything can be done in full camera engine. So I did everything in full camera engine. Uh, and some of that context is that even though I did it in Python, uh, before that I worked in, uh, I did Scala, right? So, and Scala is a functional language. So yeah, <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess that has nothing to do with this problem. But, uh, but yeah. Yeah, I ended up doing, yeah, uh, and it's even easier in Scala to do like, I mean, it's one quote unquote one one line of code, but then it's like you you just chain it like ten times, and and it's a bit of a mess. And some of the chaining or mapping is like a little <laughs> a little like uh, convoluted, even though it makes sense in some way, uh, but not like you know most people. It's just not the easiest, right? But uh, 